What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So Sammy doing a review on a device I picked up for the purposes of the review. Today we're going to be talking about a pooping devil. Because apparently someone in China thinks it's a good idea to make one. Yeah. A pooping devil. Those of you that remember I did the Paranormal 75C with the pentagram on it or the satanic star or whatever the hell they had going on. Well apparently the company, those of you know it by now, Vupu, the one where you voop means you poop and vape at the same time. When I think of a drag, I think of a drag queen. I don't think of a drag strip. I think of a drag queen. The name of the company is Vupu. Then it's Vupu Drag. Then it's Vupu Demon. Okay, I wasn't a huge fan of the drag. A lot of people love that box mod. Man, oh man, it looks all right. I don't want to say it looks good. The black one looks a whole lot nicer than the stainless steel. There should be a thing where there is companies that make mods, and there's companies that make drippers. Then there's companies that make tanks and drippers. Companies that usually make mods should probably stay away from making tanks. Lost Vape is a great example. They are typically known to make solid, solid mods. That Delirium? Uh... Yeah, go ahead and just trash that. I've never had a lost vape actually have a problem, aside from just like stop working after so many years, but I've never seen one come out of a box malfunctioning or just issues. They're typically on the higher end of scale. Just because they're good in that department doesn't mean that they're good in this department. Same thing with me. I'm good at doing reviews. I know I'm not good at being a clown. I know that I'm not good at doing aerobics or Pilates, so I don't do it. If I know that I'm not good at a certain field, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna be out on the basketball court, you know, shooting the hoops, trying to brag it up like I know how to play basketball. You know why I'm not gonna do that? Because I can't fucking play basketball. Well, I mean, anybody could really play basketball. I'm just not good at it. I'm as good at playing basketball as I am as good at singing. You've heard me break that shit down. I break it the fuck down. 1999 Remix. So today we're going to be going over this little thing. I didn't really want to do it, but I bought it just because of the company. Everybody loves this damn company. I think that a lot of people poop and vape, which is why a lot of people like this company. Because it gives them reminiscence of their daily droppage. Let's flip it. I know a lot of people. You know, I've been all over the world. I've been with people that eat bratwurst, kibasi, sausages, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut makes you gassy. That's probably due to the fact that it's cabbage. The thing is, is M could eat a fucking Dorito. A Dorito. And she will blow the bottle off of my desk. This bitch's farts are so loud. It sounds like there's a fucking earthquake outside. And then she'll go to the door and I'll say, Em, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go to the door. Release ass right there. The fan spins behind her because of the percussion coming out of her asshole. This is their first lineup of RDAs. I don't think they've ever released another one. This is kind of the only one that I know. On the flip side, shows you what is inside the box. Not a whole lot going on. A little bit of a warning. Scratch and sniff. What does someone that's breastfeeding have to do with a dripper? Unless you're vaping from your fucking nipples. I don't know how you would, uh, why that would even be a, an issue. Got a little trinket bag down here. This is the dripper. We'll go ahead and take a look at that in a second. Inside the trinket bag, we have a little Barbie screwdriver, some cotton, some coils, demon on the side, a little bit of a silver inlay got going on there. On the top cap, this is not going to be an 810. This is going to be kind of a very proprietary cap, and I guess that's gold plating. Now, what you're going to notice is, just like the Recoil Rebel, it has a lot of different airflow configurations. There's not really one to cut all airflow out. You can kind of cut it in half, do one, two, do two fully open. There's a lot of different configurations. I really like when caps have configurations like this. Not necessarily this cap, which appears to be very, very filthy. A lot of the times when you have airflow that's built into a cap like this and a stainless steel or aluminum drip tip that's built into the cap, it's going to get very hot. And that's due to the fact of the coils being so close to the airflow configuration. 
off and traveling up to the drip tip. With this, that's not gonna be much of a problem because the whole top of this is Ultim, and Ultim is kind of taking the market by storm of what the industry standard is. Doesn't look terribly bad, just kind of looks like a grenady drip tip. This just looks really, really cheap. You see? Just be very weary of this. You don't want your coils to be too close to this because Ultim essentially will melt and break down. You can put your own drip tip in here. Sleeve on side isn't terribly bad. The deck is very different. This center post right here is gonna be your positive. It's very difficult to see if there is an insulator, but it is right there. That looks like that's an Ultim insulator. On the top there, this is where it's gonna squonk and you have these little ledges or these cutouts or bevels. So so just gonna come up here and then kind of roll on to the coil. The problem you have with this for an RSA is the airflow is fairly close to the deck, so you may get a little bit of over drippage going on. I have to take the 510 out, which I already did. Take this out to see if that is in fact Ultim. It comes with this little heat protecting ring. So that goes on the bottom, which is gonna work on any dripper really. So it keeps the heat off of your mod and that is what the deck it's gonna look like on the bottom. I don't know how I feel about Ultim as an insulator. It doesn't maintain heat as good as Peak or Peck does. I get the idea that they think it's cool to do that. Just because something's not broke doesn't mean try to fix it. For the T-block, when you wanna take it out and it's in, you're just gonna kind of put a flathead screwdriver in there and just twist it so you're giving it more force because it's a little difficult to grab with a pair of pliers. My assumptions were 100 percent correct problem you're gonna have with this is it's very difficult to get out i almost feel like it's epoxied in you can't come from the top to take the bottom out and then you can't pop the top it's very well set in there just in case if you're not able to get the block on what's a good idea is to kind of start putting the screw in like so and what that's gonna do grab onto the post and allow you to tighten it down to get the post back in is gonna be very very difficult it's in there man that's my famous hammer and of course we're putting the squonk pin in just going right for it you know, some people are gonna be like oh it's not that big of a deal really okay do me a favor take your dripper do like 50 hits not even do 20 hits take it off and then take a temp reading of this actual 510 that's shit gets hot. I feel that Ultim is going to break down. Granted, it is, it's a better option than Delrin, but it is a PEI. So let me put a build in this. I'm going to have to really use a lot of tools to get that loose. But let me put a build in this and then I'll bring it on top and let you know my final thoughts on the Vupu Demon with the Ultim Insulator. All right, guys, here we are back on top with the Vupu Demon sitting on top of the Palm BF Delrin. I know it's kind of like an insult to the Palm BF Delrin, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm working with 54.5 watts on a .42. Let me show you what I'm working with. You can hear that airflow. It's quite loud. As far as it being aluminum, that's a good thing. That just means it's gonna dissipate the heat super quick and it's not gonna get hot. Huge plus. The way that the squonk is on the top, there's a lot of speculation on this and the biggest problem you have when you have squonk on the top like that, it doesn't really work the best way. It hasn't truly been thought out. Here's what happens, because of those bevels, when juice starts rolling down the side, what happens is, I guess one side is steeper or more jagged than the other, and then it more goes down that side, so you have to really squawk it. I mean, it's not like you're, it's not like you're rigorously, I don't even know what that was. It's not like you're squeezing it that hard to get it to squonk. If you were, it would just squirt all over your face. It's just definitely a different scenario, and I feel that squonking on the top has not been perfected. Neither has Ultim been for an insulator. I don't know what they were thinking when they were doing it. Maybe they just have 
an over excess amount of Ultima and they just wanted to make an insulator out of that. I'll provide links to sheets down below showing you temperatures that Ultim cannot withstand that peak or even pet can. It's not a good option. And then to get those insulators out, yeah, good luck with that one. It feels cheap. It doesn't feel like a solid dripper to me. And usually aluminum drippers kind of have that feel to where it doesn't feel like it's worth a lot of money. That doesn't mean it's a bad product. It just feels cheesy. I don't understand the idea with the stainless steel cutouts on that. What is going on? Stainless steel, black, and ultim. This is like a jumble gaggle fuck of a party going on up here. And I'm definitely not invited because I don't understand who's dancing. The airflow is a little loud, but even though it's loud, it's smooth. And there's a lot of different configurations. The bottom is wide open and then the top is on the actual small little notch. I don't know what the small notch is for. You would think for single coil, but it's too, it's too close to the other cutouts for it to be much of anything, that little guy up there. Good flavor, but it's a very, very airy dripper. This is gonna be more designed for cloud chasers than it is flavor chasers. Not a bad device. If I was to rate this on a zero to 10, I'd give it like a 5.5 or a six. It's nothing special. I don't know if it's worth it to go out there and go try to find this. 5.5 is where I would go with this, maybe a six and that's pushing it. Definitely things to consider is the Ultim insulators. Like that needs to change and I've kept it real. Have you? Jay, it's out.